Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Miranda if you're new and today's video is another video about, you guessed it, Michael Jackson. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than all of my other videos to celebrate June 25th, the 10 year anniversary of Michael Jackson's passing. We're not celebrating it, but we are celebrating his life. Michael Jackson was one of the greatest humanitarians of our lifetime. So I thought what I could do to celebrate and to honor Michael Jackson's life would be live my life like him for one whole week. So what I did was I tried to find one act of kindness, one humanitarian cause to either donate some money to or donate time to. And this video is gonna be a look back throughout my whole week. Now, I wanna make it clear before I start showing the footage that I did not do this for the clout. In fact, I am the first to admit that I do not live my life like this typically. I just did this as an encouragement to others and an encouragement to myself even that it is so easy to make a difference. Hi there, it is Tuesday the 18th around 10.30 a.m. and we are exactly one week away from Michael Jackson's 10th anniversary of his passing. And as I said in the introduction, each day this week, I am going to try to think of and do examples of things that would honor MJ, acts of kindness that I can spread. Now, one thing to note is that while Michael Jackson donated a lot of money to charities, in order to give back, you do not need a ton of money. You can give back whether it be like free or if it's buying somebody a cup of coffee or whether it's just smiling or giving back with your heart. You don't need money. Michael Jackson has a song called What Do I Got That I Can Give? I think that's the title of the song and it's with a bunch of different celebrities and the song is What Do I Have That I Can Give? Everybody has something that they can give even if they don't have a lot of money. One thing that Michael Jackson was known for was visiting children's hospitals. In his free time, when he was on tour, he would go to different children's hospitals in the area and just visit the sick kids and spend time with them and put a smile on their face. I work with kids in a daycare. I'm around kids all the time. It seems like 24 seven. So I wanted to teach my kids that I'm with about giving back and helping others and putting a smile on the faces of sick kids. So I did my research when I came across a website called cardsforhospitalizedkids.com. I'll put their link in the description. It's a great organization. All you have to do is make cards and send them out to this organization and they will distribute them to kids all over the country. The kids in my care, now mind you, I have kids from ages five to 10 in my group and they made some really terrific cards. I have a whole stack and we're so excited to send them out. Um, now, one thing I told my kids was to not really focus on the sicknesses of the kids, more just to inspire them or write something bright that would cheer them up. Now, so many of my kids are obsessed with Fortnite, but we have cards that just say you are awesome and have a good day and you know, just different pictures, just different things. And this doesn't cost any money, you guys, other than the postage, which isn't gonna be a lot, but I know it's gonna really cheer some kids up and I am so happy that we were able to do this project. Hi everyone, it is Wednesday, June 19th, and I am currently on my lunch break at work. Yesterday, as I was leaving work, I noticed all over the building handmade posters advertising a food drive. And these posters were made by kids who are uh, involved in the summer camp at my work. And they are putting on a food drive that is lasting now. Now is in a couple days ago when they put those signs out. 
through Friday, so I thought that that would be a perfect opportunity to pick up some non-perishable goods to donate into their food drive. One thing I found really surprising just now is that when I was walking out to go on my lunch break, I peeked into the box for the food drive and there was nothing there yet. And that surprised me considering that it's already Wednesday and the food drive only goes until Friday. What I did last night was I went to the store and I picked up a whole bunch of non-perishable goods that will not go bad. I picked up some soups, I picked up some Peter Pan peanut butter, haha, <laughs> get it. I picked up some canned tuna, canned tuna fish, and I picked up some macaroni and cheese, all items that won't go bad. There are so many hungry people in each and every community, and we might not even realize if somebody's hungry and not able to eat at home. This is also going to help the kids who are in charge and running this food drive know that they can make a difference because if I was a kid and I ran a food drive and then nobody donated any food, I would feel really discouraged and I might not want to do another food drive. But knowing that this box has items in it is going to make these kids realize what a difference they're making just by stepping up and organizing something like this. Hi there, it is Thursday, June 20th, and I am out in my town collecting trash. One thing about Michael Jackson was that he really cared about the planet and the environment, and you can really hear that when you listen to songs like Earth Song and listen to his poem, Planet Earth. He just really cared about nature and the environment. So I thought one thing that I could do today to honor MJ would be pick up trash. One thing that's important to remember when picking up trash is your pair of rubber gloves. Now you do not want to touch the garbage because it's gross and you don't know where that's been. So rubber gloves will really come in handy when doing something like this. I am back from my walk. I am just sitting here looking at the huge bag of trash that I found on my walk and I'm just astounded and I'm going to be real with you. I take walks all the time like almost once a day and I am so unaware of the trash that is polluting and just affecting our community and it's just amazing what you miss if you're not looking for it. Like look at all this trash. It's mostly bottles and cups and cigarette wrappers. It's just, it's a lot. Hi everyone, today is Friday, June 21st, and I am just getting ready to go to my friend's birthday party. Happy birthday, Olivia. And I noticed today that I got an email from an organization that I supported a long time ago. The Old Timers Association is one of the leading organizations dedicated to finding a cure for Alzheimer's disease, which is a really big epidemic right now. So many people are suffering from Alzheimer's disease. And what this group does is they send all of their money and resources to help find a cure. The month of June is actually Alzheimer's Awareness Month, which was something that I was unaware of before reading this email. But I noticed that they said that they would match any donation that would be sent to them today in honor of Alzheimer's Month and it being the longest day of the year. So what I did today to honor Michael Jackson was donate to this charity because we all know that Michael Jackson donated so much money to different charities throughout his life. While Michael Jackson may have donated thousands and thousands of dollars to different charities, I want people to know that no amount is too small to make a difference. There are many, many causes that you can donate to. You can donate to anything that you're passionate about. And you can go online and donate online. That's what I did today for the Alzheimer's Association. You can give to local charities. You can impact the world globally, or you can make a difference in your community simply by donating money. Today is Saturday, June 22nd, and one thing I thought that I could do to make a difference is stop at our local Goodwill and donate some clothing that I'm currently not wearing anymore, had outgrown. 
There are organizations such as Goodwill and Salvation Army who are providing cheap clothes for people who are in need. And it doesn't cost any money at all to just get rid of things that you aren't using anymore. Clothing donation is such a small way that we can make a difference in our communities and help people who are in need. Hi everyone, it is Sunday the 23rd and what I did today to give back was I volunteered in my church twice. I volunteered this morning teaching the Sunday school and I volunteered this evening leading youth group. Volunteering at my church is actually something that I do quite frequently, and while I know that not everyone on my channel may be religious, giving your time to a cause that you are passionate about can really make a difference in your community. There are many, many organizations in every different community that just need volunteers. So if you're passionate about something, find an organization that supports it and donate your time. It could be a soup kitchen, a homeless shelter, a church, anything that you're passionate about. Time is such a valuable way to give back. And I am once again taking some food to a food bank. This food bank is a little bit different. It is an outdoor food bank provided by a local church and you can just go to it at any given time and get food out of it. An ad on the internet said that they were running a little bit dry so I thought that I could help restock and I just think it's so cool that anyone can just go to this food bank because a lot of people might be embarrassed unfortunately to go to an actual food bank so the fact that you can just go here and get what you need at any given moment I just think is so unique and special. Thank you guys all so much for watching my video and I just want to say that we shouldn't do these things because Michael Jackson did them. We should do these things because we're humans and that's what we should do. We should just look for opportunities, big and small, that we can give back to. Causes that'll make a difference because there are so many ways. Let me know in the comments below different ways that you have made a difference globally or in your community because I would so like to know. I didn't really go out searching for any of these really. All of them came to me. So just keep your eyes open because opportunities will present themselves to you. So I hope that you guys have a great June 25th. I hope that you guys spend the day celebrating Michael Jackson, listening to his music, dancing like him, and spreading acts of kindness because that is what he would want you to do.